Hello and welcome back to Matt Ryan Photo. So this video is going to be kind of quick and short. I'm not going to spend too much time talking. I am going to talk about a couple little quick things real fast. Um, for one, I'm using my Sony a6100 for the first time as a vlogging camera. And my hair is an absolute wreck from wearing a hat and sweating all day. Um, and so far, it seems to work pretty good. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the at the screen and it's tracking my head perfectly, which is which is fantastic. I like that. Uh, another thing too, is that I'm using for the first time, um, a new set of wireless microphones. Now I have, I have the, the, the Rode uh, wireless go to's, but I lost one of these at a, at an event that I was photographing. Uh, so I only have one instead of two. And I, the other night I was just going on Amazon, just looking to see if I could just buy one of them and somehow link it together, replace the one that I lost, but I couldn't find it anywhere or anything like that. And I'm sure that there probably is a way, but uh, whatever. So I came across the newer CM28. Now the CM28, it's been around for about a year now. Uh, and also there's this is actually rebranded from another brand and i can't remember the name of the brand it's got a funky name to it but anyway i, I saw these and i ordered them at like eight o'clock at night i had them by 6 30 the next morning i paid a total total price that's including um tax and the two dollar shipping or whatever it is that they charge because i'm a prime member 116 dollars 116 dollars it would have cost me 300 dollars to replace these and I figured, what the hell? They have internal recording, which is a must. I, I won't use wireless microphones unless they have internal recording. Hands down, period. That's it. There, there's no other option. I'm not using anything else unless it records internally. Now, if there's some expensive Sen Sennheisers or something like that, okay, maybe I'll live with it. But with these, yeah, they got to record internally or I'm not even touching them. So I tried them out today. I'm using it right now. Um, I'm going to do some more testing on it and stuff like that. But they've been around for about a year and there's a lot of reviews out there on these and they seem to work really, really well. Um, they're very similar specs to the DJI um, uh, wireless audio. I don't have those. I've never used them, but I have seen them and, you know, the, the whole size of it and the magnet that the magnet clipping and the charging case and everything like that, they, they, they really did copy the DJI, but they didn't quite, they, they didn't quite make it the same quality, uh, the build quality and stuff like that. But I really don't care about that. It's a hundred dollars, you know, and I can have it, I can have it next day if I break it, lose it or whatever. So it's like, whatever. Anyway, so for today's video, I just went out to a uh, local Arboretum and I decided to go just take some photos because it was a beautiful day out and photos needed to be taken. So, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Just, I, I took, went out with my new best friend, the Sony a6100 and just bugged away. Uh, I didn't shoot any film, even though I brought a film camera with me like I always do. I just, I, I didn't shoot any film. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm out here at the uh, Minnesota Arboretum and it is absolutely just a beautiful day. It's a beautiful place and I'm 
just trying to do some photography. So I'm out here with my new best friend, the Alpha A6100. And I'm just walking around at a lot of different places, just taking photos of just about anything, anything at all. And right now I'm actually in a shrub exhibit and the horse flies are not so bad right now. For some reason over here, the horse flies seem to be a little bit lighter. But anywhere else, if I stop, even for like five seconds to take a photo, horse flies all over me. So uh, that's why I'm moving, so I'm not sitting still. Uh, anyway, if you are familiar or live in Minnesota and you're watching my videos, I would say get a chance, get out to uh, the Minnesota Arboretum. It's out in Chanhassen. And I gotta tell you, it's just, it's huge. You go for a three mile drive and it's just ginormous. It's like a three mile radius. And just, it's huge. It's the only way I can explain it. Hello.
you know what this is called? <laughs> I was driving by. Yeah, I was driving by and I saw it. And I'm like, oh, I gotta take a photo of that. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, there is a tag. Can't even see it. Smoke tree. That makes sense. Pretty cool. This place is just so amazing. It's so huge. Every time I come here, I see something completely different. I see something new, something new to photograph. I I, I don't think, I think it'll take me years still yet to, to really explore this entire area and photograph everything I or feel content that I photographed everything that I can here but it's constantly changing so it doesn't matter every time I come here they add something new or they take something away or they add a new path somewhere or something it's it's pretty slick